Good morning, citizens of Tobago and Trinidad. This is Watson Solomon Duke, political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots. Today, we are making a call upon the Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Keith Christopher Rowley, for him to write to CARICOM, write to the European Union, write to the Organization of American States, write to the Carter Center, write to international observers and invite them to come to Trinidad and Tobago, in particular Tobago, for the upcoming Tobago House of Assembly elections. These elections are very divisive. They are very tight. As we know, we currently have a 6-6 six, six with the 12 seats. Three more seats have been authorized by the parliament via the Election and Boundaries Commission um, local government to be House of Assembly order and it has been passed on September 15, 2021. And currently we will be going to the polls in a few months with 15 seats. These seats could go anyway and persons will now be voting for the first time on the different, different I say, electoral districts. The names have somewhat been changed and it will cause certain level of confusion in the minds of the people and an opportunity for someone to steal the elections. We hope that the People's National Movement do not partake in stealing the elections. We hope that they are not aided and abetted by unscrupulous persons who monitor these boxes that are used for holding of votes. And we also hope that the Prime Minister would adhere to our request. This is not the first time we are making these requests. We would have made this request on the 30th of September 2020 for the upcoming elections in January 2021. The Prime Minister did not respond. He did not even acknowledge. However, the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago did respond and did acknowledge our request for these independent observers. We know for a fact it falls to the Prime Minister to invite independent observers. Case in point, on July 9th, 2020, one month before the national elections of Trinidad and Tobago, the Prime Minister did write to the Secretary General of the Caribbean community and ask for independent observers to come and supervise the election process. In the very same day, the Secretary General of CARICOM did respond in the affirmative and they were present for August 2020 national elections. The Tobago House of Assembly elections have not yet been announced and while the thought is still being crystallized, we are hereby calling upon the good Prime Minister to ensure that Tobagonians are able to participate in a process that is not only fair but appears to be fair. As an assemblyman and as the political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots, I again repeat the call this morning. I've sent it to his email address. It bounced back. I've sent it to his, one of his assistants by WhatsApp. We are also hand delivering it this morning also. In an effort that this would reach him today before an announcement for elections is made. We are hoping that the public of Trinidad and Tobago, Tobago and Trinidad would monitor this process. The people of Tobago are anything but passive. Where this election is concerned, they're very much aggressive and they want a decisive winner. Some folks will want the PNM, some will want the PDP. The last record shows 6 6. Today we are calling upon international independent observers to observe this process and ask then the Prime Minister to acknowledge our letter and to respond in the affirmative, to put things in place as he did for the CARICOM Secretariat when he made the intervention and the request. We are asking to put all necessary measures in place now, including identification of a local focal point, which is Tobago, just the establishment of quarantine protocols and all necessary arrangements to have this event happen. Let him organize international travel tickets and all the required financial arrangements for DM, etc. 
this is important. We are even going out of our way to extend ourselves to say, we, the Progressive Democratic Patriots, we are willing to assist and to help monitor this process so that in the event anything goes awry, we would be able to know that no foul play was included. We want to make this possible. Again, I call upon the Prime Minister, I solicit the Prime Minister, I urge the Prime Minister, I humbly request of the Prime Minister to make this request for independent observers a reality. Make it a reality now. You have done it before on July 9th, 2020, for the national elections, which was one month away from your request. Now, these elections are at a minimum two to three months away. Minimum two to three months away. There's more than sufficient time for independent observers to come in. We want this to be publicized because we will not take lightly, we will not take lightly any corruption, any type of corruption involved in making the PNM the victors of this election to our demise when we know for a fact there is corruption involved. Let everything be fair and let everything be done orderly. If the PNM wins the election, they win the election. But they must not lose the election and break some secret ballot box elsewhere with the votes all PNM and drop it in and say, look, they want the seat. We will not accept that. And put it out here now. The Tobago populace will not accept such measly, evil, and downright corrupt defeat. I thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, and we look forward to hear from you as the President would have already acknowledged our new letter stating acknowledge. I thank you, Trinidad and Tobago.